Are golden doodles hypoallergenic? One of the most common questions that we get from potential golden doodle owners is the classic, are they hypoallergenic? And the answer is a bit more complex than you might initially think. There are a lot of factors that go into the official designation of hypoallergenic, and the truth is that no dog is 100% hypoallergenic either. Today we will dive deeper into this though, so you can have as much information as possible on the subject before you make a choice on whether golden doodles are the pet for you. What does hypoallergenic mean? For a dog to be considered hypoallergenic, it has to be extremely unlikely to trigger any sort of allergic response from humans. In fact, to even be considered a hypoallergenic dog at all, it can't shed any of its fur. This lack of cleanup is also why many people search out hypoallergenic dogs, as the sweeping and vacuuming can quickly become a pain with some breeds. Did you know that it's incredibly rare that humans are actually allergic to dog hair itself, though? It's true. Most people with dog allergies are actually allergic to the dander, which is the dead skin flakes. That dander is more likely to be released along with the fur, though, and so hypoallergenic dogs are able to hold on to these dead skin flakes instead of releasing them along with their fur. This prevents any kind of reaction from their dander-sensitive owner. But are golden doodles hypoallergenic? If we take a strictly scientific approach, then no. Evidence does not suggest that golden doodles are 100% hypoallergenic. But then again, no dog is. We tend to label dogs like poodles hypoallergenic because their coat allows for almost no dander to fall out, but it's always still a possibility that it can. Since golden doodles have poodle genetics, if they inherit the same coat, then they can be just as hypoallergenic as perhaps a poodle, but crossbreeds can be tricky that way. There are golden doodles that have a coat similar to a golden and should not be labeled as hypoallergenic, and so it's important to do your research if you have allergies before committing to a golden doodle. Every doodle is a bit different, and even amongst their respective litters, it may not be a sure thing that they have a hypoallergenic coat like their siblings. Well then, what are the most likely hypoallergenic generations? Dog breeding has become so scientific in these modern times that we are able to, through careful and selective breeding, more or less guarantee that you can get as hypoallergenic of a doodle as you so please. As we discussed earlier, the goal is to get as much of the poodle genetics into the mix as possible. And without getting too much into the specifics, you're going to want to look at the following generations in order to achieve this. F1B Golden Doodle 75% Poodle and 25% Golden Retriever F1BB Golden Doodle 87.5% Poodle and 12.5% Golden Retriever F2B Golden Doodle 62.5% Poodle and 37.5% Golden Retriever F2BB Golden Doodle 81.25% Poodle and 18.75% Golden Retriever F3 Golden Doodle or Multi-Generation Golden Doodle typically contain hypoallergenic Golden Doodles since they are back-crossed to the Poodle. While this data may seem a little overwhelming, it's actually pretty simple, and if you are interested in learning more, we will link a video we did on this exact topic for you guys to check out. What you can do for your dog to limit allergies. If you have gone through the steps of making sure you get a golden doodle that is as hypoallergenic as possible, but are still experiencing allergies, there may be some things you can do to eliminate this issue. One of them is making sure that you brush your dog as much as possible. Remember, the dander, which causes the allergic reaction, sits in the dog's coat, and so by brushing your dog daily, you can get rid of as much dander as possible. The only issue here is that you may have an allergic reaction while brushing your dog, and so if possible, try to have someone without allergies do this part. Bathing your doodle at least twice a month can also eliminate dander from the equation, but make sure that you have a good hydrating shampoo. Using cheaper shampoo can sometimes dry out the dog's skin, which in turn can create even more dander. What you can do for yourself to limit allergies. 
Washing your hands regularly or using a high quality HEPA filtered vacuum cleaner around the house can do a remarkable job for you if you are feeling the effects of allergies. You can also create no dog zones, such as in your bedroom, in order to make sure you have a space that is 100% free of dog dander. You can also go the extra step and get a HEPA air purifier for your home, which will help to suck out any dog skin from the air. Just remember to change these filters on time, as they can lose their effectiveness, otherwise without you even knowing. Finally, if you really want to go all out, you can replace your carpeting with hardwood floors. Not only is this considered more contemporary from a stylistic perspective, but more importantly, it will keep dander from hiding in your carpet. It can be really difficult, even with great vacuums, to completely clean carpeting, and studies have shown that it can make a huge difference in your life when it comes to allergies. A skincare routine for dogs? This might sound silly, but creating a sort of dog skincare routine could go a long way in making sure your dog is as hypoallergenic as possible. Golden Doodles as a breed can be a bit demanding when it comes to things like brushing, which you are supposed to do daily at the least. They are also supposed to be taken to a professional groomer every six to eight weeks in order to make sure their skin and fur is healthy and put together. You should also ask your veterinarian about your doodle's skin health and have them check if there are any skin diseases they might be suffering from. If they are, they will be more likely to release dander, and there are steps you can take with your vet to help their skin. These include lifestyle changes and medications, which will not only make them less likely to trigger your allergies, but will also generally leave your dog happy and healthier. Consider consulting an allergist. There are two great things that an allergist can do for you. For one, they can confirm your allergy, and two, they can come up with suitable ways to deal with it. You shouldn't have to give up your golden doodle because of an allergy, and in most cases, you won't have to. An allergist can help you game plan and better deal with the allergies in a number of ways, which can really help people and alleviate that burden. They can also confirm if the allergy is due to the animal at all, we can develop allergies over time, and there are plenty of things in our home besides our animals that can trigger them. It's a good idea to get a second opinion before you start to make decisions based on a theory. Golden Doodles were created with the thought of making a dog designed for people with allergies in mind. Because of that, Golden Doodles are often some of the most hypoallergenic dogs out there for people that have to consider that before making a decision. All that being said, sensitivities can change from dog to dog, and so it's a good idea to get yourself checked out before doing anything. This could be as simple as going to a dog park and interacting with different kinds of dogs too, which is honestly just pretty fun. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel, as it really helps us out a ton.